Okay, this is page 360. It says, Old Faithful Geyser in Yellowstone National Park is one of nature's most impressive sites. Yellowstone has 200 geysers and thousands of hot springs, mud spots, steam vents, and other hot spots. More than any other place on Earth. Old Faithful is not the largest or the tallest geyser in Yellowstone, but it's the most dependable geyser. Using the length of time of an eruption, park rangers can predict when the next eruption will begin. Old Faithful erupts at regular intervals that are predictable. If, the t if you time the length of one eruption, you can predict about how long you must wait until the next eruption. And you use this formula. Your waiting time is going to be 10 times whatever the length of the eruption was, plus 30 minutes. So, it says here, the waiting time, where it says W, equals, and when I see the word, when I see equals, I say waiting time is 10 times the eruption plus 30 minutes. So, then we go down to the bottom. We have the length of the eruption was 2 minutes. Okay? And so if we do 10 times 2, because 2 is the E, right? Point to the, point to the E, Alex. E, okay. I was going to talk about this one here. So 10 times 2 plus 30. 10 times 2 plus 30 is 50. Okay, so how do we, what are we going to do for here? 30 times 2, no, 30 times 10, oh, 3 times 10 plus 30. 30, okay, so what's that going to be? 3 times 10 plus 30. Awesome, okay, let's keep going. Now, so, what's the next one going to be? Because it says 4 here we'll do, we take this E and replace it with 4, because it's from here. 10 times 4 is 40, plus 30 is 70. Okay, hold this camera here while he does the rest of the page. Right there. Okay, and just explain what you're doing. Okay. That one is, is, let's see. Okay, if the eruption time was one minute, so it's 10 times one <coughs> plus 30. Let's see, one minute times 10 is 10 plus 30, 40. Thank you. I totally messed that up. Okay. So that, oh, the next one's a little bit harder. Two and a half times ten. Twenty point, it'd be twenty point five plus thirty. Done. Five eighteen. So twenty point five plus thirty would be gonna be be fifty point five? 50.5? Oh. I don't know. Am I wrong or are you wrong? I don't know. We'll take. So I think half of 10 would be 5. So you get, when I see that, sometimes I put 2.5 times 10. Oh, you're right. I was wrong. You're right. Awesome. Okay. That next one's a little tricker. That was 540. Oh, 15 seconds. When I see 15 seconds, what 
One fourth. It's a that's exactly what I think. Or you can think 0.25. So you can put 3.25 times 10. And whenever you multiply something by 10, you just move the decimal over one time. Um. 647. So now you got 32 and a half. Two and a half. Yeah. Okay, let's see this one. Oh, this is good. You get to go backwards. Okay. So we know it's going to be less than two minutes, one right? One and a half. Is it going to be one and a half? I think so, because one minute is four. Hold on. That was a really good guess. Well, let's just go ahead and do a, a guess. So one and a half be 15. Yep, that's it. Alex, you're smart. Yay. Okay, pause.